Welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Monday 8, June 2020. Beware of the spirit of the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. There is a type of spirit that many Christians are oblivious of. And the Bible talks about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. It's the spirit of the world. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. This spirit is responsible for worldliness among Christians. That is the spirit that tries to set trends, the trends of the world, which Christians aren't careful they find themselves moving with those trends of the world. What the world sees, how things are done, not realizing they are being swayed by the spirit of the world into worldliness. We can use certain things in the world without following what the Bible calls the fashion of this world that passes away. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 31 The fashion of this world refers to the trend of this world and it is under the spirit of the world. Remember that Satan is the god of this world system. So, when our team verse says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. That is what it is talking about. Refuse to be controlled or influenced by the systems of this present world. Jesus said, You are in the world, but not of the world. Hallelujah. Some people today are drifting. They are born again, but they have been conquered by the world. They don't have the gospel motive. Your motivation in life should and must be Christ Jesus and the purpose for which he died. Don't let your focus be on the transient things of this failing world, for none of its so-called trends can give you true joy. Paul said in Galatians chapter 6 verse 14, But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. This is the attitude that you must have. Prayers Dear Father, I thank you for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, by whom I navigate my way through life. I refuse to be swayed by the spirit of the world, for I am not enticed by the faction or trends of this world. I am from above, and my mind is set on things above. In Jesus' name, Amen. For that study, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10, John 15, verse 19, Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 6. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a nice day.